So guys, today I felt like wearing black and this outfit inspired me actually to share with you black perfumes from my collection that don't necessarily smell black, however, they all come in black bottles. So if this is the design that appeals to you, then make sure to keep on watching this video because I'm sure you will learn lots of interesting for yourself from it because I got top 20 plus list of black bottle perfumes. But before we get started with that, I would like to ask those of you who are here for the first time to subscribe to my channel right now and of course give this video a thumbs up because all that will really help my channel to grow and this video to get noticed and once you're done with that we can dive right into it hello and welcome everyone to today's black Top list. Let me know if you love black bottle design. I feel there is something really eye-catchy and classy about it. So I would like to know what is your most favorite black bottled fragrance. Please drop me a comment below and I'm getting started because this is going to be a pretty long video and I want to open it with the fragrance Dionysio by Tiziana Terenzi that comes in matte black bottle with some golden detailing but the flacon is really black and I have another one from this brand Athlix sitting right here by the way excuse this lightning but let's get back to Dionysia because I will be sharing with you those fragrances today that I really really love so maybe I'm missing a few even from my collection but Dionysia is my go-to sexy fragrance because besides vanilla that's in there and actually there is Madagascar and Tahitian vanilla, so the vanilla accord is pretty complex in here. However, I cannot call it sweet nor gourmand because for me it's rather salty because of the note of ambergris that we have going on in here that smells sort of like a sweaty human skin in a sexy way. So this is a well-rounded fragrance. There is musk and oud for the sensuality and if you want to smell really sexy I would definitely recommend you to go for it. It's unisex and vanilla is really known for its power of attraction. So Dionysio is my all-time favorite fragrance and in case you love black bottles and you love Tiziana Terenzi for their Italian opulence, then I think Dionysia definitely should be on your wish list or must try list or even in your collection. But with that being said, talking about vanillas, let me share with you a newer fragrance from my collection that is actually by the French niche brand Paris Monte Carlo and there are a lot of great perfumes in their range but I've been really wanting this one, Vanille de Tahiti. By the way, look at this bottle. Although there is so much gold, I feel like it's not overwhelming the rich black color. So the design is really, really beautiful. And their fragrances like Rose de Taif or the Tuberose one and the citruses, they're all really rich. But I've been really wanting this vanilla because you guys, it's on the sunny and really, really yellow side because there is champaka, there is elaine elaine and there's a tropical flower so in the combination with vanilla it just smells like summer and if you love powdery vanillic fragrances this is definitely the one for you but i gotta be honest with you they released just something completely different to that that smells more black and that is a vetiver centered fragrance and although i'm not the fan of this note i gotta be honest with you it impressed me quite a bit and benny told me that the dry down of it is amazing because i actually sprayed it uh, on him from the sample but that aside you guys now let's talk about a black rose in and out because this fragrance actually smells black and it is very strong from the indie brand Galahel fragrances I'm talking about rose noir and this is yet another matte black flacon but it has this bold silver label in the front and the cap is actually heavy metal and you guys Wow, this is the rose that can be described as leathery, as sweet, as boozy. There is so much going on, like black leather with acre wood. There is vanilla, honey, brown sugar, dried apple crisp with plum, and of course the Turkish rose. So this is a very full-bodied rose on the dark side with these beautiful, sweet, dry 
fruity sparkles and it's gorgeous. So Galaha fragrance is really known for its extreme performance and this fragrance stays on for a long time. It's great if you're going out. So in case you prefer rather sillage, I would recommend you something from Paris Monte Carlo that lasts long. But in case you're looking for this extreme projection, Galaha fragrances is definitely the brand for you. But on that note, let's move on to the next one. Fragrance that I haven't spoken about in a hot minute, but I still like a lot because it's from the brand that I used to rave about all the time ever since I discovered Australian Fort and Manle. And I remember around that uh, period of time, I also earned some money and their perfumes are pretty expensive because of you know, like stunning bottles and very expensive materials. I purchased a lot of them. Obviously, I don't have the entire range, but I have Charlatan. And just look at the bottle. It's full on black. So if you're looking for something truly, truly black, that's it. And just look at this. It's handmade. It's really, really beautiful. And in case you want to find out more about their history, I have an interview with Rusty Ford, who is the perfumer behind this line. But I want to mention this fragrance in particular, although there is Bornikov's purple hat and that's also a black flacon. They have something with copper and with gold, you know, labeling. But this, you guys, is my favorite because to me it smells like my favorite flowers, lilies. And I find it's very hard to find a fragrance with their scent because the majority of them are more like clean and soapy when the lilies are heady and intense and really, really addictive. And although there is no lily in the notes, but pear, chocolate, truffle, and some other florals, I feel like it smells like lily. So I love it a lot. It's sweet. It's really, really beautiful and lovely. But let's move on to another big floral scent. And this is actually Amar Oud's Dark Orchid. And it comes in a solid, heavy bottle. Just look at it. It feels and looks so niche, so expensive. And it's really, really, um, yeah, <laughs> heavy. So with that being said, this perfume reminds me a lot of Tom Ford's Black Orchid. But this one is more sour for me personally. Let me know if you can actually smell the sour element in Tom Ford's banger that I have right here. And I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but at um, this point I enjoy it quite a bit. And it's another black bottle. And I have it in the mini format, so I thought I will share it with you today too. So these are like sour, solar, really opulent, really provocative floral scents that have this like um, a little bit of a fruity element to me personally. So with that being said, they are strong, they are bold, you will get noticed with them. But I want to talk about one of the most successful blind buys of mine and this is actually the perfume I had no high hopes for and I didn't know how it will smell. So I purchased only 30 ml of Elizabeth and James Nirvana. And by the way, just to look at it, can you tell that it's not like slick, but has some relief going on? It's such a beautiful bottle. I don't have a perfume quite like it. it reminds me of a purse or something. And there's a little bit of gold, but not, you know, overwhelming. And the scent is so stunning because it doesn't smell just like a combination of different notes. Although apparently there are sandalwood, vanilla and violet. To me, it smells like um, the scented pencil from my childhood. And it is amazing, sort of like a hidden gem that I would definitely recommend everyone to get. You can purchase it online. And I know that some of you have already told me that uh, their entire range is amazing. So I'm just trying to get my nose on them. And in case you're familiar with this brand, then definitely let me know what's your favorite and what do you think I will like. But now I want to tell you about the perfume that I don't think many of you know, although I have already reviewed in the past. And I'm just so obsessed with Francesca Del Oro's Rose Menthe. First of all, look at this bottle. Isn't it insane? Just Look at this shape, it's so unique and it's actually from the Black Trio. There is another one centered around Jasmine and the third one is kind of like a tuberose fragrance. But I like this because you guys, this is a very interesting rose fragrance because it's minty. So 
along with mint there is C note, there is uh, aldehyde note and of course there is a rose with some other florals but this rose is like a sea rose that grows somewhere by the ocean and it's really fresh and light and beautiful and so uniquely shaped so I just wanted to let you know that it's out there but now let me tell you about one of the best perfumes that I've smelled in my entire life this is definitely a must-have for those who love lipstick scents because I'm talking about Hedonic's Divine Perversion that comes in a star black bottle like this and this is a true star in my collection because you guys in the opening it's sort of flirty because of the note of raspberry that's so juicy and lovely although however it's quite sweet too so it reminds me of raspberry candy a bit because there is also caramel but because of the iris and rose it smells like lipstick it has a little bit of a waxy texture and in the dry down my gosh this dry down is insane it's out of this world the perfume is beautiful from the beginning till the very 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 end by the way it stays on the clothes forever literally for days and it performs so good it's such a glamorous such a gorgeous fragrance created by Francesca Bianchi who is extremely talented so I definitely recommend you to get your nose on it and you can get it from the online niche shop Aquasium Natural with my discount link to which you will find down below in the description box so feel free to use it so you can save some money and this is really a must have by the way the bottle is really really cool too but let's talk about another cool bottle and the perfume that is harder to find but in case you happen to see Louis by Guerlain that is apparently discontinued you definitely need to grab a bottle of it like I did a few years ago and I'm so happy about it by the way the bottle is real nice I mean like it's not over the top and at the same time it has something to it right so Louis where should I start not only I'm obsessed with it Benny loves it and I know some of you too so I could describe it as a little bit of a candid oriental pear with a lot of spices and a hint of smoke that's not uh, too much because it's truly in Guerlain's powdery style and I love this fragrance it is absolutely phenomenal and it comes in a black bottle and with that being said now let me tell you about the fragrance that I'm sure not many of you know about and it's from the French niche brand Jarabois and it was created in the collaboration with the Ukrainian shop and the fragrance is called Vona which translates from Ukrainian as she and since I'm Ukrainian and the fragrance was inspired by Ukrainian woman it should radiate her energy and just um, reflect her style I'm really really into that concept and it smells to me like a very solid white floral scent sort of like in Jador style do you know that fragrance by Dior it's really really musky and white floral and this one is too but it's like that on steroids with this extreme niche elegance I love this fragrance very much especially for how cool it is so in case you prefer white floral musky cool fragrances you will really really enjoy it and I know that you can get it from their official website but just in case you prefer warmer sweeter more floral powdery scents and a lot of you ask me about perfumes which one would I recommend because I'm known for my love to powdery perfumes I would actually recommend to you this one from El Hermes Junon Trio that comes in a black bottle and is called Junon Noir by the way the bottle is really really pretty I mean like it's nice right it's black but it's um a little bit with a hint of silver I don't know if you can tell but it's not like full-on black not as lacquer like not see-through as Vona right so if you compare these two side by side this black is different it's crazy that there is so much difference but you guys this perfume is so good because it is powdery there are lots of flowers it's a little bit sweet but the note of kumquat which is this exotic fruity citrus is so refreshing and just so invigorating and by the way this is definitely the perfume that will bring you lots of compliments because anytime I wear it people always ask me about it so it is strong it is gorgeous the entire trio is really really powdery and I have a review on all of them but if you're looking for a black one this one doesn't smell black it only looks like that and it smells absolutely gorgeous very very pleasant to wear and honestly I'm always amazed by how mass appealing it is 
So guys, I hope that you're not overwhelmed by the amount of information that I'm giving you today, so definitely take notes and maybe watch this video twice. But if you have any questions left, go ahead and just ask me anything you want down below. And we are moving on to the next perfume. Of course, I need to mention one of these intense colognes by Jo Malone. This is Jasmine Sambac and Marigold, which is basically like a indolic jasmine fragrance, but with a little bit of a green element in there, which makes it quite nice. And just a tip for you in case you love black bottles, this entire intense cologne range by Jo Malone comes in black bottles like this, so you can go nuts on them. I'm really liking this video because I'm talking about some perfumes I haven't talking about in years or maybe even never, like this next one, which really blew me away when I first smelled it because this is an aromatic fragrance and I'm not the biggest fan of aromatic perfumes. However, I fell in love with Nishanis Unutamam at first sniff. So it comes in rather simple for Nishani black bottle, but it was created by Miguel Matos, who is definitely not a simple perfumer because his fragrances are really complex, such as this one. So besides mint, rosemary, lavender and juniper, there is actually the note of oregano and please comment below how many perfumes have you seen featuring this note. It is so unique and I feel like it uh, makes it so special and so different from the majority of aroma of aromatic and fougere fragrances that I am not very much drawn to, but I'm always excited to wear this, especially because in the base there is castorium, oak mass, caramel, and labdanum, so there's a little bit of sweetness and it just transports me somewhere to Italy where the life is so much more relaxed and beautiful, but it's also really long lasting. I mean, like it will stay on the closing for days. So if you're looking for a strong, aromatic perfume, look no further, here it is, created by Miguel Matos for Nishane. This is a little bit of a hidden gem from them, but I definitely think it is worth your attention. And we are gonna talk about another Miguel Matos creation in a minute, but first, Let's look at this one by NARS, which is a makeup company and they have launched their fragrance Audacious. And actually, I wasn't impressed with it when I first smelled it. I've even reviewed it in not that positive way. But then, a few years or months ago, I sprayed on myself again in the shop and put it on my wish list immediately. And this is a very, very black bottle. Just look at it. You cannot see anything that's going on inside. And the cap is cold too. I don't know what material is it. Plastic or wood. The top is shiny and the scent is mind-blowing. Very soft, very discreet, not too intense, intimate. I would say it's like a very delicate, abstractly insensy floral, but there is like frangipani, lang lang, tiara, very tropical flowers, but they are all, you know, like in this incense cloud and it's stunning. Not too loud, not too strong, it doesn't perform all that amazing, but it smells really interesting, unique, and quite unexpected for a makeup company. Alrighty, guys, so now I want to talk about Australian brand Grandi Flora that was founded by a florist who is charming. I met her in real life, and I would definitely recommend you check out their Instagram profile because the constellations with flowers that they create are just absolutely uh, beautiful and all the fragrances are inspired by these living flowers. So they're very natural, they're very authentic smelling, they have multiple gardenias, jasmines, but I would like to talk about Boronia today. So the bottle is rather simple, I mean like it's very very black, although the white label it's, it's quite noticeable on there. But the fragrance, oh, you guys, you haven't smelled the fragrance quite like it. First of all, it was created by Bertrand de Chauffeur. I love his style. Second of all, this is like Boronia flower, which is velvety, textural. There is cognac, tobacco, apricot. So it's rather like a cold weather um, sort of flower, which is so, so beautiful. But the fragrance that's not floral, that's like pencil shaving in a bottle is Town 15 by the French rock and roll brand 1015 and it smells really comforting, really cozy, really smooth because it's about sandalwood and it's very very light like the layer just of um, something almost un un unnoticeable and at the same time it smells like your second skin but better and the bottle is really really black. 
And another black one would be from the British niche brand Memoirs London and I really wanted to mention Tristia because for me this is like your go-to rose patchouli but with an animalic twist which I really really like about it. So the bottle is rather see-through so you can actually see how much is gone and the cap is wooden which is pretty but they have not only these black bottles but some white ones and even a pink so definitely check them out because their fragrances smell really niche nothing too extraordinary but very very high quality Ooh, this next bottle is like so so eye-catching and i always say that you can use it as a piece of dacker around your house because this is quid orientica by orientica and just look at it isn't it just so Stunning! Wow! There is a white counterpart that I've already reviewed for you guys, but this one is interesting because it's sort of like a green leather, you know? It's very strong, it's intense, it's not fully smoky because there is this green edge, but it's very, very powerful and rather masculine. So just in case you love perfumes in that style, I think you might really want to check this one out and also the white one because these two, you can just leave them sitting somewhere in your living room and people will be like really, really attracted to them because I mean like uh, oh, this design, when I first saw it, I was like, oh wow. I also wanted to mention Santi Burga's Palindrome 3 real quick. So you cannot tell how much is gone or what's going on inside of the bottle because it's really like not see-through at all and the fragrance is about osmanthus which is this leathery apricot flower so I don't know where to spray perfume so just on the back why not so I'll have this incredible sillage once I um, go out but yeah it's like a boozy fruity dry powdery very very pretty in fact especially for the autumn time i love fragrances in this style but now uh, let's talk about second miguel matos fragrance today that he created for the italian niche brand bruna campora and they even won art and olfaction awards for young hearts in a rather you know normal bottle nothing that would be too unique but the fragrance inside is because this is a green rose and um, there is pine there is galbanum there is balsam fir and you can smell all of them because they transport you to the forest and inside of it there are wild roses growing so it's very very atmospheric and i like it for that a lot it's also pretty strong but not offensive and uh, since there is bergamot and oak moss i can call it a modern shipra and i actually noticed that there are only two fragrances left so let's finish this video real quick and now talk about Givago's exotic noir and this is the brand from beverly hills really really bougie and you guys people always ask me about it when they enter this room because just look at this presentation it's insane and the fragrance is sort of like retro musk but it's very cool that it features note of Davana and black blackberry and liqueur so they make it smell more modern and interesting but muskiness is very very vivid in there they have uh, more of these cool bottles and I would definitely recommend you check them out but I want to end this video on the note of my most favorite vanilla perfumes of all time and probably you've already guessed what it is because if you have been following me for a while you know how much I adore Vanille Fatale by Tom Ford. And if you don't know, then you definitely need to subscribe to my channel right now and activate the bell so you will get notifications anytime I post a new video and you can learn more about great fragrances from them. But anyway, this vanilla is unbeatable for me personally. I know that a lot of you have already purchased it because of me and this vanilla is roasted, it's woody, it's sweet, it's powdery, it's fresh. It is the best and I would definitely recommend you guys to check it out. But yeah, they have a lot of these black bottles. And uh, in case you like them, then definitely let me know what's your favorite and what's your favorite black perfume and which of the mentioned ones today stood out the most to you. I would really like to hear from you. Your feedback is highly appreciated. So 
stay active in the comment section because that really helps my channel to grow and it would be amazing if you could give uh, this one a huge thumbs up in case you enjoyed it and learned something new from it and please let me know which next color you would like me to explore because I've already posted a top list of pink and red perfumes and I'm excited to hear from you so if you want more content from me and stay in touch you can follow me on my social media all the helpful information is going to be down below in the description box and I'm really really excited to hear from you so thank you so much for watching this one and please make sure to stay tuned and smell good we'll see each other in the next one really soon bye